I got to um, cover the Republican National Convention uh, for The Guardian and for The Daily Beast. Now, political conventions in the US, I feel like are this rare and unique sort of horror that's like very particular to America in the sense that it's this very, very expensive um, circus that no one who's involved in it actually is in, enjoys and nothing actually gets done at, but it's designed solely to create uh, a sort of spectacle of party unity for the TV cameras. Well, it's just really amazing. Like, it's really interesting to hear about people who've been and done things. Like, it's not just reading the article or the book or whatever. Like, it's actually hearing from someone who's been inside the action and has one-on-one -on -one experience with that. There's always this weird vampiric thing about journalism where very often um, you know, you're meeting someone at a very difficult time in their life, right? Like where they're incarcerated or where they're in a camp, you know, where they're going through a war. And you're going up to them and you're saying, hey, can I draw a picture of you so I could, you know, make an article and sit on this nice stage? But you're, you're gonna stay there. You know, it's a very, it's a very um, ethically fraught and ambiguous field, even at its best. And I think that anyone who's honest with themselves is always grappling with that complexity. When I'm doing it, I, I try not to think too much about how I feel. I just try to think about doing a good job. I thought it was really interesting how like, her art, it has so much like social and political commentary. Art can really change the world and that, that whole idea was very powerful. The work I did in Lebanon or Syria or Gaza, I don't want to really like put myself at the center of it because it, it's just, it, you know, like a mom in Gaza, right? Who's going, you know, like to the supermarket and dealing with the life and she's getting bombed and like, is under a blockade and she can't like get musical instruments or spices because they're banned from going through. Like I think her emotions in a lot of ways are more interesting than mine. Like I just get to go in and go out. I get to leave and I think that the people who have to stay are, are the ones who are more interesting.